Teachers from Penridge North Middle School in Bucks County. Make some noise for these guys. <laughs> and they have just entered the classroom, the show that pits students versus their favorite teachers. You think they're pumped up? Look at these audience guys. What's going on? It's an absolute cut rally. Hey, it's winner take all and the cash and bragging rights. Before we meet our contestants, I have to see who studied. It's time for a pop quiz. <laughs> Do you guys get scared of pop quizzes, too? Yes. Me, too. Like, right? We're in class. We're like, no, pop quiz. <laughs> you didn't know it was coming, so hopefully you're not scared now. All right, grab your buzzers. Hear how it will work. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to get through as many questions as we can. Each correct answer, guys, is going to be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until I call your name to answer. If you get the question wrong, the contestant from the other side can buzz in, and we'll have a chance to steal. Teachers, you ready to play some pop quiz? We're yeah, ready. Right, All right, ready. students, you guys ready, too? Hands yeah. on your buzzer. Time starts. Now, what is the first and last name of the first American to step foot on the moon? Jessica. George Washington. Oh. We're looking for Neil Armstrong. We're going to move right into question two. Who went to town a riding on a pony, stuck a feather in his cap, called it macaroni? Mr. Stokes. Yankee Doodle. Yankee Doodle's yes. right. Teachers are on the board. What kind of polygon has five sides? Oh, Pentagon. A pentagon is right. Students fire right back. What is the largest planet in our solar system? Miss Caprioli. Jupiter. Jupiter is right. Yes. The Kiki Challenge is a dance challenge performed to what Drake song? Mr. Stokes. In my feelings. In my feelings is right. Yes. What is the world's largest continent by land area? Raina. Asia. Asia is right. Yeah. Which NBA team moved locations from New Jersey to Brooklyn? Mr. Stokes. Uh, Brooklyn Nets. That is correct. <laughs> what animal is the symbol of the Republican Party? Miss Rankin. Elephant. An elephant is right. <laughs> what is the process in which green plants transform light into energy? Miss Caprioli. <laughs> Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is correct. <laughs> What is the first and last name of the founding father credited with creating bifocals? Miss Caprioli. Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin's right. That brings us to the end of Pop Quiz. Here's our score. We have 70 for the teachers and 20 for the students. We're off to a great start. We have the students and teachers. I love this place. Penn Ridge North Middle School in Privacy, home of the Rams. And we got to meet some of the Rams themselves. Jessica, welcome to the show. Thank you. Glad you're here. So big news, $500, you take that check home with you. Where is that money going? Um, so we will donate it to the student council account so that we can work on fundraisers and dances and all that fun yeah, stuff. Yeah, make the good stuff, right? Good choice on cash location. I like that. Uh, and you're actually a part of the student council yourself. Yes, I'm the treasurer this year. Ooh, girl, can I borrow like 50 bucks? Um, that would not make a good treasure. <laughs> this is, it wouldn't make a good treasure at all. Nice answer. You can absolutely stay in that position. Raina, you're a part of student council as well? Yes, and I seventh am. grader? Mm -hmm. And what do you do for student council? I am part of the dance committee. The fun job, right? The fun yeah. job. All right, what's the most important part about a dance? Just making it fun and just good dance moves. Oh! <laughs> Wait, you got to teach me that. Is that it? Yeah. It's just cooking it up a little bit. All right, you're going to show me that after. And Owen, you got a favorite dance move? Oh, not really. Okay, good. Uh, so you're in seventh grade as well? Yeah. And here's what's cool about you is you had some of these teachers over here. I know a few of you guys did, but you know some insider trading information on Mr. Stokes? Yeah. Tell us what tell us what you know. Uh, so last day of school last year, he uh, told everyone that his rapper name was Biggie Stokes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is he a good rapper? Did you see him rap in school? No. All right, maybe today's the day. Guys, good luck. Let's make some noise for the students, guys. My man, Biggie Stokes. Oh, man. Oh, man. Guys, no one's
calling you Mr. Sokes from here on in. No one. All right, so tell me, $500, your team captain, where's that going? Uh, we're actually going to be getting new picnic tables for our front patio of our, of our school. Perfect, right? You want to eat outside? Nice choice, nice choice. All right. Obviously, the size tells me that you probably play a sport, and that's football? Yes, I am. I'm the uh, head coach at North uh, uh, Middle School, so. Awesome. Uh, looking, looking really good this year. Going to have a really good team. And if we want to come out, what day of the week for the games? Wednesdays. All right, you heard that here, folks. Get in the cars. We're going to Penn Ridge. We're checking his game now. This is Cabriola. You're a science teacher? I am. Every science teacher has to have a good experiment. Like, I, like whether you blow something up or, you know, you, you walk on, on glass. What's yours? My favorite activity of the year is when we walk around the building and test to see where the germiest spot is in the building. Ew! Ew! <laughs> but I can't tell you where it is because this year, kid, this year's kids can't see it. Wait, you're telling me <laughs> you know where the germiest place is. Mm -hmm. You're on TV and you're not going to tell us where to not go? I will not. Okay. <laughs> well, no one hopes you win then. That's fine. <laughs> and Ms. Rankin, you're a learning support teacher? I am. Well, what's, if that's not good enough, you're also a big lip syncer? I am. Um, with my partner over here. Yes, I am. Yeah, yeah. We do a what lot was, of fun What dances. was last year's song? 24 Karat Magic, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're calling for it. They want to see it. 24 oh, yeah, yeah. Keep your dance moves locked up, Miss okay, Rankin, all right? All right, now that we know everyone, it's time to send somebody to detention. Let's go. Detention action. You guys ever want to send your teachers to detention? <laughs> Tell you what, even if you don't do it today, you can do it Monday. You have my permission. All right, guys, here's how this is going to work. You guys, buzzers down for this one because it's team play. Here's how detention works. I'll give the trailing team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to pass or if you want to play. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send a member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team must must answer the question and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to eliminate everyone from the other team, you're gonna win 40 points. You guys ready to play? Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> Students, we're gonna start with you. Here's your category. Do you want to pass or play on sports? We'll play. The play with a smile on your face. Here's your question, guys. How many periods are in a regulation ice hockey game? Three. Three is right. Yeah. Look, it's on the board. Who is going to detention, guys? Look over here. Look at these unhappy faces. Who is it? Mr. Stokes. Mr. Stokes. Mr. Stokes. <laughs> Biggie. Biggie, you better give a little shuffle and call for us. Okay, <laughs> guys, why did we send Mr. Stokes first? That was a team decision there. That was a good one. Well, we have to go from the top down to the bottom. So. <laughs> wow! Wow! All right, teachers, here's your category. Disney movies. Do you want to pass or play on that? I want to play that yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like going to play. Here's your question. What animated film features five different emotions working together inside a young girl's brain? I love this movie. Let me just put that right on the record. And the answer? We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. It's not the Disney movie. That would be a weird title for a film. You guys, how great is this? Because you guys know the answer? It's Inside Out, right? That's a fantastic film. But here's the good news. You get to send somebody else to Mr. Stokes' detention. Who are you sending? Let's send Mrs. Caprioli. <laughs> Mrs. Caprioli. Mrs. <laughs> Caprioli. <laughs> Science teacher is now in detention. Mrs. Cabrera, you don't look like you don't look like someone who had a lot of detentions in high school. I did not. I was a model student. Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, good. That makes one of us uh, up here. Then that's good. All right, guys. Now listen. You have a chance. You're in control of the category to win this thing by a landslide and a sweep of three students to three teachers and to get that 40 points. Ms. Rankin, hold on to your horses because if okay. you get three right, you put all three in detention. All right? Here we go. Students, your category is math. Do you want to pass or play that? Let's play. Let's play. I love that. <laughs> yeah, she said a little sad. So I'm playing. A number containing a whole number and a fraction is called what? A mixed number. Miss Rankin, go to detention. That's right. They just swept the round. That is too many teachers, which brings our score to 70 for the 
teachers, 60 for the students, and we got plenty more game when we come back. But first, here's an extra credit question for everybody playing at home. Wow! It's time for an extra credit question for all of you at home. What country gave the United States the Statue of Liberty? Do you think you know? We'll have the answer right after the break. Welcome back to the classroom. Before we went to break, we asked you what country gave the United States the Statue of Liberty? The answer, France. Did you have it? Now let's get back to Richard Curtis in the classroom. It was France. Everybody knows France That's who donated it. Hey, welcome back to the classroom. Today we have students and teachers from Penn Ridge North Middle School battling it out right now. The score is 70 for the teachers and 60 points for the students. Wow! It's a close-knit game, guys. We love that. And it's still time for anybody to take the lead. Let's get right back into it. It's time for some spell check. Here's how the game will work. We have two minutes on the clock. When I call your name, step up to the microphone. I will give you a word to spell and 10 seconds to do it. If you get it correct, you stay in the game. If you say a wrong letter at any point, you are out of there. The team with the most players left. When the clock runs out, wins 40 points. Students, you ready to play? Teachers, you ready to play? Yes. Ready. Let's do it. Let's do some spell check. We are going to start with the teachers. Come on up, Biggie Stokes. Your first word <laughs> is admit. A D M I T. Correct. Here we go. Cheska, your word is recipe. R E C I P E. Yes, correct. Here we go. Miss Caprioli is illegal. I L L E G A L. Correct. Here we go. Raina, your word is hideout. H I D E O U T. Nice. Here we go, Miss Rankin. Brief. Brief. B R I E F. Brief. Yes. Owen. Weird. W I E. W E. Owen. Good try. Here we go. Your next word is noisy. N O I S Y. Yes. Jessica. Cringe. C R I N G E. Nice. Miss Caprioli. Syrup. S Y R U P. Nice. Raina, oxygen. O X Y G E N. Correct. Miss Rankin, biscuit. B I S C U I T. Nice. Jessica, success. S U C C E S S. Successful girl. Good job. Sandwich. <laughs> S A N D W I C H. Nice. Here we go. Your next word, Raina. They're getting harder. Hygiene. H Y G uh, I, E, N, E. Nice, nice work. <laughs> Miss Caprioli, bouquet. B O U Q U E T. Nice, here we go, Jessica, horrify. H O R R I F Y. Spelling champ, nice job, guys. Here we go, vertical. V E R T I C A L. With ease, nuisance is your next word. N U E. Ah, as we were looking, you're the last chance, Jessica. Hold on. Oh, just like that, we are out of time on spell check. Teachers, marvelous job. Nobody out, which means you just banked 40 points. That brings you guys to 110 for the teachers and 60 for the students, but we're not done yet. The classroom is still in session when we come back. Guys, good job. Nice spell, a nice It's applause with Rockstar. Welcome back to the classroom. Today we have students versus teachers from Penn Ridge North Middle School. I've made my way out to the party here. What's up, guys? Yeah! yeah. We're rocking. Hey, right now the score is 110 for the teachers, 60 for the students. But check out who I got. I got the principal of the school, Dr. Cole. Everyone, everyone's dying to know. Who's the principal's hoping going to win? Let's go, students. All right, let's go, students. Hey, well, let's see how they do, because it's time to jump on the bus. We're taking a field trip. See, that's nice when the principal wants you guys to win, right? 
Yeah. How bad does it feel for you guys, though? Oh, hey. Wow. All right, well, grab your buzzers today. We're taking a field trip to Independence Hall. It's right down the road. The first person to buzz in and get the correct answer to each question, they're going to win 10 points for their team. If you buzz in and get it incorrect, a member from the other team will have a chance to buzz in and steal. Big bad Mike Jarek from Fox 29. Good day. I love this guy. He's asking the questions today. Mike, what's going on? Richard, as you know, the Declaration of Independence was signed in the building behind me. But what other document vital to the United States of America was signed in there? This is Caprioli. The Constitution. The U.S. Constitution is correct. <laughs> Very good. That brings your score to 120 teachers. Hey, Mike, what do you have next? All right, next question. On what date is Constitution Day celebrated? Mm, it's every year. It's every year. Miss Caprioli again. September 17th. We just did it. Nice job. That's correct. <laughs> Another 10 points on the board. Good. And Mr. Jarek, I think you have one more for us, correct? Here's one. What was our country's first constitution called? Mm, first constitution? Mrs. Caprioli, a resident <laughs> social studies teacher. I'm, I'm the science teacher. I know. Yeah, apparently, you might switch to social studies. Articles of Confederation? Of course. Absolutely. <laughs> Insane. She knows science and she knows social studies. You're who we're mad at. You know too much. <laughs> a big thanks to Mike Jarrett for leading our field trip today. What a score. We have teachers 140 in the lead to the students 60. But guys, there's still plenty of time to come back because it is time for the final exam. <laughs> Okay, the topic of today's final exam is the Muppets. Oh my goodness, this is like childhood. 101 right here. I'm gonna ask both teams three questions from the five W's, the who, what, when, where, and why. Each correct answer is gonna be worth 100 points. Teams will work together and write down their answers in the commercial break. But first, there's no writing yet. Let's hear the questions. We're gonna start with the who, guys, as in who created the Muppets? Our second final exam question is what? What Muppet character traditionally performs the song The Rainbow Connection? And our final question on the final exam is when? As in when did the Muppets reboot movie starring Amy Adams and Jason Segal come out in theaters? And we're looking for the year there, guys. We're looking for the year. All right, we know the question. Each team has 60 seconds to confer and come up with their answers. In just a couple minutes, we will see which team will ace their final exam and rank first right here in the classroom. Hey, but first, do you think the students and teachers at your school have what it takes to enter the classroom? Here's how you can be a part of the fun. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. the classroom today we have students and teachers from Penn Ridge North Middle School going head to head right now the score is 140 for our teachers 60 for the students and it's still anybody's game the topic of today's final exam it's the Muppets everybody loves the Muppets before we went to break I asked both teams three questions don't forget guys each correct answer is gonna be worth 100 points teachers you're in the lead right now with 140 to the students 60 so one question can turn this whole game are we ready to see who aced their final exam gonna take that money back to the school let's do it well, the first question is a who as in who created the Muppets we're gonna start with the students See what you guys said? Owen, you want to hold that up? Uh, Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> Ryan. Ryan is incorrect, but a good guess nonetheless. I like Ryan. Uh, teachers, for 100 points, what did you say? Jim Henson. And Jim Henson is right. That's going to bring you up to 240 points. I love the name Ryan. I love that you guys just said that. Okay. <laughs> You still have a chance to win because if you sweep these next two questions and the teachers get them wrong, you guys are winning that $500. All right, what Muppet character traditionally performs the song The Rainbow Connection? Raina? Kermit. Kermit the Frog. 
If you guys also said Kermit the Frog, you are officially the winners of the game. Teachers, for all the marbles, what'd you say? We said Kermit the Frog. Kermit the Frog and teachers are our winners today. When did the Muppets reboot the movie star Amy Adams and Jason Segal come out in theaters? That was 2011. 2011. Big check. Come on over. We got Dr. Cole Principal in the house. Oh, and jump in here. Raina and Jessica. What a game we played today. All right, guys, what do you think? How'd you guys, how'd you guys have a good time playing in the classroom today? When we go back to school, are we bragging, though, teachers, or are we going to be like, these were the best competitors we've ever seen? Best competitors. All right, we'll check out. Hey, good luck with the football. Good luck with the money. Dr. Cole, thanks for being here. We want to thank Penridge High School. Join us next time when we have new teachers, new students, and the same awesome classroom. Who's got the best dance moves? Let's see it.